It's not a new concept, but it's one that seems to have been lost in the age of grid electricity and oil and gas. Passive solar design utilizes a building site, climate, and materials to minimize energy use and maximize the natural sources of heating and cooling. The main strategy was to create a, a, a good thermal envelope, the thermos, so to speak, and then try to bring as much of uh, the sunlight in to heat it and cool it by using natural means. So we're not relying on a furnace or an air conditioner. For Kelowna architect Hugh Bitts, designing his new home meant not only creating a unique design, but also creating a passive solar structure. Although the exterior grabs your attention, it's not just about style when it comes to the design. The layout and window placement take advantage of the building site and position to the sun. The lot is east-west axis, but we want to take advantage of the sun and bring in as much passive solar as we could. So that's why you get this sort of, um, the, the, the actual roof is, has a clear story and it brings in more sun. There's uh, two operable windows either side of these clear stories that will open up in the summertime and, and it's what we call the stack effect, just as which is natural buoyancy of air to rise. And as it rises, it's gonna exhaust out those windows and it'll pull cooler air in. To minimize the use of air vents in the home, a heat recovery ventilator was installed. This will draw air out from the top floor and push fresh air in through a single vent on the main floor. The remaining air will come from natural circulation created from the unique design of the home. This is the sole location where we have fresh air coming into the house. So the, the fresh air, the exhaust air is drawn out, uh, the heat is exchanged with the incoming air and it's it's charging this space right here and allowed to, to flow into the, uh, the space. What we've uh, done is allowed apertures above the doors so that you could close the door, you have that privacy, but then you open a window and the air can flow through, flow into the, the height of this space and then exit uh, um, opening over there, which is another uh, opening window up high. Thanks to its design and the natural cooling and heating systems, the area that would typically be filled with a large furnace and hot water tank is occupied only by a small unit controlling the hot water and gas. On one side we have uh, on-demand hot water and then the rest is heating the slab. So this is it, there's no air conditioning so we don't have any outdoor infrastructure and ducts uh, uh, to heat the house or cool it. Ideas like those utilized by Bits in his new home will be on display at the 19th Annual Home and Renovation Show this weekend at the Penticton Trade and Convention Centre. It's not only about green building, as all areas of building and renovation will be on display. It's a great place to put people and products together. Um, there's everybody from professional tradesmen, contractors, suppliers. Um, also, Bill Green BC will be there this year, Department G, doing on a great presentation on green building. The Home and Renovation Show takes place this weekend, opening at 10 a.m. on both Saturday and Sunday. For more information, visit the Canadian Home Builders Association South Okanagan website. Reporting for Go Okanagan on Shaw TV, I'm Brendan Osborne.